workplace harassment is a huge problem in Sri Lanka. Although the constitution of Sri Lanka says that uh, anyone can do an occupation or follow a profession of your choice, there are women who are suffering silently uh, at their workplaces and also uh, there's a lot of uh, sexual harassment at the workplace and other forms of uh, violence. Uh, but uh, there are no mechanisms within the organization to address this issue. And although it is a serious human rights violation, uh, women have no one to turn to and, and they have to keep on working because they, they need the funding. They, they need to be uh, financially strong, they need to be economically empowered. It's high time that the uh, private sector came forward and established uh, anti-sexual harassment policies within their uh, organizations and set up uh, anti-harassment committees uh, within their organizations because the United Nations in its uh, guidelines uh, for business organizations has clearly reiterated that to be an ethical business uh, your organization has to be harassment free. If there is someone who is suffering uh, in silence because of uh, this kind of violence then, then your organization uh, is, is not uh, being an organization that adheres to uh, good moral standards and uh, ethics. So uh, I, I think uh, there's a duty uh, uh, passed upon the heads of uh, business organizations in Sri Lanka. There are a number of uh, business organizations headed by women and they should take the lead in establishing uh, anti-harassment policies and setting up anti-harassment committees within their organizations.